Hello crocheters, welcome to Crazy Cool Crochet. In today's project we are working on a pillow cover and we will be using the Alpine Stitch which is a very richly textured um, pattern and using soft and shiny yarn by Yarn Lane in the color Iced Coffee and using an H hook or a five millimeter. Now this particular yarn is just gorgeous. It's actually very, very soft and as the name implies, soft and shiny. It does have a really nice sheen to it which adds a whole other dimension to this pillow cover. So let's get started with a chain of 65. Okay, we've created a chain of 65 and if you still need instructions on the beginning stitches, Check out the little white box that I'm going to leave up above and that will take you to the beginner's tutorials. Um, but just for a little refresher here, the chain, just grab the yarn, pull through, and that's your chain. Okay, now we are going to start with a single crochet in the second space from the hook. There's the first space, there's the second space. You will single crochet all the way across, insert the hook in the next chain, pull the yarn through, two loops on the hook, pull the yarn through both loops, and that's a single crochet. Just do that all the way across, and you will end up with 64 single crochets. When you get to the end, that will be your last chain to enter. So just keep count as you're going and then you'll you'll be good. Now make sure also that your chain is not twisting on you. See how it's all twisted? Make sure that you're keeping it straight as you go. Now we're done with that first row of single crochets. Chain two, turn, and now we are going to do a row of double crochets. So you're going to skip that very first space there, start into the next space for a double crochet, and then double crochet all the way across for 64 double crochets. Refresher, pull the yarn around the hook, insert into the next space, pull the yarn through, three loops on the hook, pull through two loops, Pull through the next two, and that's a double crochet. Continue across. We're at the end of row two of the double crochet row. Chain one, turn, and now we will do another row of single crochets, starting in that first space, all the way across for 64 single crochets. Now make sure you um, open up the description area below where it says see more, click there, or depending on your device, there might be a little tiny arrow next to the name Crazy Cool Crochet in the white space. That will open up and I've got links in there um, to this exact yarn. It's always helpful to use the exact yarn that I use so that you do end up with the same results. And I will also have links on there to crazycoolcrochet.com. For the last single crochet, you're going to enter that into that turning chain. Chain two, turn, and now we're going to start on the front post double crochet rows. Now, to enter the first front post double crochet, you're going to go around and behind that first double crochet below. Not the turning chain, but the double crochet. Insert the hook behind, pull the yarn through, pull it up nice and tall, and then work a double crochet. So that's the first two loops and then the next two loops. Now. In the next space, you are going to enter a regular double crochet. Then you are skipping that space behind 
the front post double crochet. Now we're going to work the next front post double crochet. We're going to skip that next double crochet. Go around the next post. Pull up the yarn nice and tall. Double crochet. Enter the double crochet into the next space. And continue across. Skip that next double crochet below, go around the next one. So it's a front post, skip the next one, front post, skip the next double, front post, skip the next double, front post. And you know you're going into the correct space. If you turn this around, you're skipping the chain behind the front post double crochets. So just continue. At the end of row four of the front post double crochet row, the last two stitches, we are going to enter double crochets. The last one goes into the turning chain. Chain one, turn, and repeat a row of single crochets starting in the first space for 64. Now we are at row six, and we did our chain two and turned. Now we are going to do a double crochet above the front post double crochet below. So actually in that first space, regular double crochet and then the double crochet below we will do a front post double crochet. Then a double crochet in the next space above the front post below. And again, the front post double crochet around the double crochet below. And you will just repeat that all the way across. When you get to the end of row six, you are going to end with the front post double crochet around that last um, double crochet below. Then you will do a double crochet in that turning chain. You'll enter your last double crochet there, chain one, turn, and continue with the single crochets beginning in that first space and all the way across for 64 single crochets again. Now we're at the end of row seven of the single crochets, chain two, turn and now we are going to start repeating the pattern. For row 8 we will repeat row 4 which brings us to the front post double crochet around that first double crochet below. And the double crochet into that next space above the front post below front post around the next double crochet. So we're just repeating the pattern, only now we are doing alternating rows. So that first uh, front post row started with the front post, then the next one, well then you do the single crochet row, and then the next front post row starts with a double crochet, and then the next one starts with a front post, and on and on. But of course you do always enter that row of single crochets in between. And then that's the pattern for the entire project. And you will do two panels identical and then we will put them together and that will be your completed pillow cover. Let me remind you, um, you can go to crazycoolcrochet.com and I will have the written instructions there 
you will also find a lot more uh, free patterns that I may not have done videos for. So you definitely want to check that out because you will find a lot more crazy cool crochet patterns. And don't forget to subscribe. I would really appreciate that so much. Okay, we've completed two panels. Now we are going to seam them together. And we actually ended up with 27 front post double crochet rows. And the easiest way I have found to count these rows is to count on the diagonal. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. See? If you count diagonally, you catch each row. Now, the way we ended, you want to end on a single crochet row. At the end of the row, you enter your single crochet, you do a chain, pull it through to knot it, just pull it nice and tight, cut it off, leave a tail, we'll weave that in at the end as usual. Okay, so you're going to put the panels right sides together. Right side, right side. And we will seam three of the sides then you will flip it inside out, insert the pillow, and seam up the final row. You're using the tapestry or the yarn needle with a length of yarn. Insert in a corner on both panels and just start seaming. Now I usually like to take the, the tail, the two tails, and tie them up. That way you'll have a nice secure knot. Just knot it and then continue with the seaming. I like to take the two strands that form the chain and just start going all the way across. That's all there is to it. For, this actually is for an 18 by 18 inch pillow. It's a very common size for a decorative pillow. If you want to do a 16 by 16 inch, which is another common size, you will want to start with a chain of 55. If you would like to add tassels to the corners, take a look at the crazy granny tassels pillow I've got right here. I will leave a link in the description area below that will take you to the pattern at crazycoolcrochet.com. Thank you.